critical. Don't do it. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Indominus Rex. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive where I have just came back from London. It has been like, so hot up here. It was miserable in London. It's so hot here. I'm not wearing any pants. Do you want to say? But anyway, so I have been like, I went on a trip to Edinburgh and I had Whitney drive all the way. <laughs> so I was like just catching loads of dinosaurs. As you can see, we're on 138,000 coin. So that's quite a lot. Um, I've also got a lot of books because I was like, well, you know what? Fine, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll put into books just so I can rush through some uh, incubators. But not only that, we caught loads of dinosaurs and... Yeah, so we have loads of uh, DNA uh, supply drop, whatever you want to call them, incubators. That's the one. Incubators to unlock. So before we do that, I just want to say, look at that. Almost 500 T-Rexes. So I have so many Aranosaurus. Like, I bumped into three of them on the way here. And when I was down in London, what I noticed was that... Um, I also saw Rexy, so hopefully Rexy's right right next to me, but there or there, I think it's there, this is right there. Um, in London's King's Cross, because right now they're doing the whole promotion with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and it's awesome. Uh, so Rexy there, blue there, the Jurassic But also, when I was in London, I realized that dinosaurs are like really tightly compact. Like, I remember going over, I probably put a mini image there or something. Uh, it was like one stop, one supply drop, and there was like six or five dinosaurs all in one cluster. And I was like... I've never seen this happen before. But apparently in London, there's a lot of dinosaurs. Like, just because there's not many stops, as you would have thought. But there's a lot of those, though. There's a lot of uh, dinosaurs clustered together. And there's loads of raptors. So many raptors in uh, London. However, in Newcastle, loads and loads of Sukumimus. So it seems like every, like, different town, they have their own, like, unique dinosaur, which is very plentiful. Uh, so center of Newcastle is, like, Sukumimus town. Anyway. anyway, so how about we upgrade some dinosaurs? So first off, we're gonna start off by upgrading the, uh, Pyraptor up to level 14, giving it that well-needed extra attack and health. Um, and also we're gonna maybe change- Oh, almost 15! And then we can start working towards the hybrid. Um, yeah, uh, so there's also T-Rex, which I don't want to upgrade, but no Dipatosaurus I can upgrade now. Uh, which means it's up to level 15, and we can start working towards Giga Spikasaurus, which I think we also need a level 15, uh, Kamarasaurus or Amargasaur? It's, I think it's Amargasaur. Uh, yeah, look at, look at that, Oranosaur. I've got 844 of that. Uh, other dinosaurs that I bumped into, so, uh, Kentrosaur as well. Um, I don't know whether that was from a DNA incubator or not, but either way, we've got a Kentrosaur and we've almost got level 15 because you need Kentrosaurus now to make the Tyranka, the T-Rex and Ankylosaurus hybrid because it used to be T-Rex and Ankylosaur and since the trailer that just went up for Jurassic World Alive, we now know that we are going to get Carnotaurus, we are going to get Stiggy Moloch, we are going to get uh, Blue even and it used to be to make Indoraptor, it was level 20 Indominus Rex and level 20 Raptor, but now it's probably going to be level 20 blue, I would assume anyway. But for the um, the T-Rex, the T-Rex and Ankylosaur, um, this thing, the Trichosaurus, it used to be a level 20 T-Rex, level 20 Ankylosaur, but now they've made it so it's not uh, Ankylosaur, it's the Ank... Anctriosaurus. I'm gonna butcher these because they're not real. <laughs> uh, so you've got to end up going through that to get that. Um, we might as well level up this as well. I, again, like, I just haven't bumped into any any poster circuses, but every now and again I do come in contact with one of these actual hybrids So it saves me time and I don't have to use any Dimetrodon uh, DNA and I could save that um, Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, we got so we got loads of epics. Kula Suchis can now reach level 12 I'm not gonna use this guy. It's not like amazing um, Although if it was like a really high level I might consider it and also this is this Erlicus Erlicosaurus there you go this guy's really good because it's 128 speed so it's super quick um, and it has rampage right off the bat it can do two times damage straight away uh, in this case it would be 1416 uh, attack I think it would be not one rampage uh, anything else that I want to upgrade? Oh, yeah, Sacodonosaurus. On the way to London, when I went through Newcastle, I found one of these little buggers. So, uh, managed to, uh, get, like, over 100 DNA from it, because I never bumped into these guys normally. So, that was lucky. Um, it's like 3,000 Gorgasuchus DNA. Um, like, 5,000 Triceratops DNA. These are all, like, dinosaurs that I bump into on regular occasion. So, I see a lot of those guys. Um... 
And I'm just, because we could be, wow, 30,000 coin gone already. That was impressive. <laughs> so, other dinosaurs, so yes, we're going to try for Indominus Rex. That's what we're going to do here. So we go on T-U-X. We do not upgrade it. Do not waste all that. And we go to Indominus Rex. And we only have, like, we need 70 left to get. We can get it. We can do nine tries. And at a minimum of 10, that's 90 DNA. So we're definitely, we're guaranteed Indominus Rex. And I'm so looking forward to that. Like, this is a really good dinosaur. Okay, 10. Is it going to be 10? Oh, 30. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I want to see if we can make, because after this, it's only 100 DNA to make um, a level uh, 17 Indominus. Because I thought it'd be like 400 because it doubles. But apparently not. I don't know why they've made to get it really high. So there you go, there's the 10, but this is it, the final one, guaranteed this time. We've still got 345, well, we'll have 300 or just less. 30, yes! That means <laughs> we only need 80 to get the next one. So here it is, Indominus Rex for the first time ever in Jurassic World. Ah, oh, first ever epic. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. 2,300 health and almost 800 attack and 106 speed. Oh, look at it, it looks so good. Yeah. Okay. So now I wanted to check out its cloaking ability. No, I'm not gonna ray ban. God. So, um, yeah, these are all of its attacks. So cloak means you act first. You gain a 50% dodge for two turns and your next attack will deal two times damage. And you can use your armor piercing rampage, which will do what, two times damage and then it'll two times that damage. So it's about 4,000 damage. If you're in Dominus Rex, you use cloak, you survive the next hit, and maybe survive the next hit, you're guaranteed a kill. No matter what. Which makes it so valuable. And it will now be my highest level creature. There it is. So who are we going to chuck? There was a comment in the last video. Somebody was like, Utahraptor will never leave the team. And no, it won't. But who is going to leave? I'm kind of thinking... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm thinking... Sinceratops. Sinceratops is good, though. That's it. Oh, okay, you know, I'm so I'm so sorry, Sinceratops, but I haven't bumped any of you in weeks. So I'm sorry about that. But it does not end there. No, we're going to keep on trying for a level 17 in Dominus. Oh, there. Well, you know what? 10. So how many more do we have left to get? Is it three? Four. No, five, 10, 50, 20. So it's four. We have five DNA of another got a pop. So for five, but we can do four extra tries. So it's a guaranteed of 40 DNA. So there's 10. Come on, come on, don't do this. Don't get 10 every time. All we need is a slick 90. Oh, come on! Come on, you can do it! I don't ask for much at all. Last two. 40. Yes! Oh, we got level 17. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Oh, we got 50. Whoa. Do we still- oh, we don't have another try, but that- oh, 15,000 coin! Okay, well, there it is! Level 17, and over- oh, yes! Oh, that's awesome. How much, uh, for the next one? Well, I guess we won't find out until uh, we have enough coin, but it's gonna- or at least enough DNA. It's gonna be a lot of coin. Um, but without further ado, before we open these ones, we actually have another one because if you pre-registered before the game went live, you got a free incubator. Now, from the looks of it, it's like a 15-minute incubator, which, you know, does kind of suck, but hopefully it's a little bit better. What is it? Oh, yes. It's a special, uh, incubator for pre-registering. Oh, okay. 180 bucks! Oh, hell yes! <laughs> okay. Oh, 100 dots? Oh, yes. 100 and 100 Raptor. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, you know, for pre-registering, I'm okay with that. But how about we start on this? So if I could have anything, I would like Spinosaurus. Maybe even Postosuchus. I don't know. I'd like Capra Suit just because we need that level 15. Um, so 3,000 coin. That's okay. Uh, 1,300 Sarcosuchus. All right. Doesn't have a hybrid yet. Oh, even more on Dina Charis. Okay, so Income the Res. Oh, we... Guys, did we just get epic DNA from a rare? We might have just done that. Hold on. This is the first time that I've seen this. You can get epic DNA from a rare. Uh-huh. Oh, that. Okay. Is it, is it an epic? Yes, you can. I mean, it's not much, but at least you can from those. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we'll do this one. Oh, I don't want to... No, this one won't be... No epic DNA in here, though. So, 700. Well, there's an 800 of that. But probably... Oh, finally. I just haven't seen any of these T-Rexes. And some Illicosaurus. Damn, damn. I'd rather have Spinosaurus or something. Okay. 
Oh, let's go. So 3,000. We're back over 100,000 coin. Some more Alasaur. Don't really need that. So definitely don't need that thing. Uh, ooh, Tijongasaurus we definitely need. And Amargasaur doesn't hurt. And finally, are you ready, guys? If we could have any epic, I would like more T-Rex. Like 500 T-Rex right off the bat. I'd be happy with. But, um, hmm. If we got any epic. And Kylosaur or Monlophosaurus. Since Ceratops would be great because he's got loads. So since Ceratops or T-Rex, how about with that? Let's let's ask for that. It's not much, right? Okay. Oh, seven guys. Did you see that red flare that came out? I think we got legendary DNA. It's not going to be much, but I think we might have legendary. So okay, let's have a common. Uh huh. Another common. Uh huh. Or maybe we don't. Oh, do we not? Oh, Woosaurus. I don't think we do. Nah, we're gonna have two epics. Okay, two epics it is. <gasps> oh yes. Pirate, we can finally start working towards its next hybrid. Or at least get it level 15 and... Oh, we are so close. Spinosaurus Gen 2. i never seen that before. Never seen. <laughs> oh my god, my voice is gone. <coughs> but anyway, let's get him to level 15. So that means... Oh, he's going to be really good because Pyraptor's 129 speed. Oh, 900 attack. So it's quicker than Utah Raptor. It's quicker than... Uh, it's quicker than everything except for... A regular Velociraptor, and I think the, like, the Baryonyx hybrid that has this thing in it. So his hybrid is Pyrotator. And then, oh no, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, what's the really crazy hybrid that's, like, the fastest in the game? It is... It's this thing here. The Spinotosuchus. This thing, I don't know what the speed is on it, but it's crazy fast. So now I'm kind of in two minds, like, whether to get that... Or to go for the... Because we need to, like, spend Utah Raptor um, sort of uh, DNA on that. Like, this thing, the Utah Sin Raptor, right? It's kind of... It looks okay, but at the same time, it's not as quick. It does have another hybrid, though. So whatever this hybridizes into is going to be really quick and crazy. Um, and it's probably going to be a unique creature, so it's going to be really good. Um... I kind of tempted to do Oranosaurus, but what I do need to do is get Parasaurolophus up to level 15 because he's got two hybrids that both need him to uh, level 15. And, you know, it's the best dinosaur in the game. So we, we kind of have to do it. All right, okay. I did, I've did. i been catching a load of these just because um, I know that I need it to level 15. And it's good. Yeah, it's a lot of DNA and a lot of coin as well. That's 8,000. So level 15. There you go, 128 speed, not as quick as Pyraptor. Um, and I can't even, but that's okay. We don't need to level it up anymore. It's gonna be harvested, <laughs> gonna harvest its organs for other things. Um, I kind of want to put Raptor. I wanted to upgrade Raptor, but you know what? Spinosaurus doesn't have any hybrids uh, uh, right now. And Utah Raptor, I really, uh, I really want, oh, is it a legend? No, it's an epic, right? Is the other one an epic? Or is it a legendary? Hold on, hold on. I just want to check. I just want to check. Oh, almost clicked 10,000. This thing. No, this is a legendary, which means that it's... Ah, it's it's going to need it. It's going to it's gonna be a really good dinosaur. But do I just go for that crazy, like, Sukumimus hybrid? Oh, I don't know. Because I kind of I kind of want maybe Spinotar Raptor up there. Because its speed is 123. And it does have, like, distracting impact. And critical impact chance. So if we... It's gonna cost me a lot of Spinosaurus DNA. And it's gonna cost me a lot of Utah Raptor DNA. And we're not gonna get it, I don't think, straight away. And then, even then, the Spinotosuchus needs Caprosuchus. Really high level as well. So it's just like, you need to pick one and then stick to it. All right, without further ado, I am rank 192. Let's see if we can get a Dominus and uh, get up some rank, shall we? Okay, yeah, the one time I take a drink, it finds it. Indominus? Yeah, we have Indominus and T-Rex! Hell yeah, boy! Okay, let's bring in Indominus Rex. Okay, against Kendrosaurus. So I get the feeling that he's probably going to go for distracting impact, either that or Thagomizer. And if he goes for Thagomizer, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go for the dodge. I'm gonna go for the cloak. I've never done it before. Let's see how it goes. Look, there he goes, Indominus. Th Thagomizer. Oh, we missed it. I'm immune as well. I completely forgot about that. Yes. Okay, you ready to kill it? Let's go. Actually, no, instant cripple. Ooh, it's still gonna do a lot of damage though. How much? Oh, <laughs> it didn't work, it missed! 
<laughs> I'm sick of this. Oh, no, we're immune. Of course. <gasps> okay. So that's that over. Right. We can't go for um, another cloak for a little while. So I'm kind of tempted to switch Indominus Rex out now. I don't want to take any more hits. But just in case he goes for the uh, ready to crush, I'm going to go for this one. Yeah, there it is. Ready to crush. Okay. So I'm going to go for expose weak spot. And I now know... That, because that means it does more damage if it gets hit the next turn. Well, that's vulnerable. <laughs> now, um, I don't know. Should we risk it? I'm gonna. Should I go for a reg? Uh, you know what? I'll go for the big hit. I'll go for the big hit. Please don't crit. Yes. Okay, we survived. We survived. Indominus Rex. Oh my God, it's amazing. I mean, it is luck. You got 50% chance when you go in that cloak to not be hit. Um, but now we have it. Okay, let's go. Please don't hit. Two, don't hit. Come on, come on. If we can do this, Indominus Rex is one. Oh, wait. No, he's got me. He's got me. Yeah. If he, d if Indominus Rex or another, di other, <laughs> another dinosaur doesn't get its, like, buff effect, like arrows going up or something, that means it's died. <laughs> so, um, that attack may always kill him. I'm not sure. I've never seen that one against Indominus Rex. Because I never use Tiny Colosaurus. Oh my god, he's going to kill me in one more hit. Tiny Colosaurus or Tiny Colagrius or whatever is so OP, it's ridiculous. A level 22. Look at that. Two hits, kill the T-Rex. Really? 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 It's so annoying. But you never know. We may kill him here. If he doesn't do anything. If he switches out. No, we've won. As long as it's not a crit. Whoa, that was so close. That thing is stronger than Indominus Rex. I mean, it is level 22. If Indominus Rex was level 22, probably would have won even quicker. But there you go. Thanks to Indominus Rex. Otherwise, that would have been really tough. So, a three-hour incubator. It's, it's okay. 200 odd coin. Right, let's do another one. Hopefully, we get Indominus Rex again. Indominus? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Indominus. Okay, we got this. Sukumimus? Right, should I go for the cloak? I mean, I may as well. I mean, if I don't do it, then I've got a 100% chance of being hit. So if I do do it, I, uh, I see, there you go. <laughs> so if we go for this, he's dead. Let's see what he does. Can you stop Indominus Rex? Oh, no, got the hit. Oh, but we're, we're immune to the bleed damage as well. Dominus. Oh, my God. It's so OP. It has a hybrid as well. Like, you hybridize Indominus Rex into something else. So that's going to be crazy. So which one does more damage? That one. Uh, they're about the same, but I'd rather have exposed weak spot. There you go. There's Wounding Strike. But because we don't get the bleed, that means, like, Wounding Strike's not very good. Um, have we got Cloak now? Oh, we don't have Cloak. I would want to switch out, but I think I'm going to fodder off Indominus Rex. Should I? You know what? I'm gonna switch Gorga Sutures in. I'm gonna switch Gorga Sutures in. Right, he goes for regular head. Oh, and it was a crit as well! The worst thing that could have happened there. I mean, apart from dying, of course, but hey. So there you go, big hit. Right, it's 2 0 up. It depends what he puts in next, if it's quicker than Gorga Sutures. Oh, I think it is. I th yeah, it definitely is. Okay, um, Spinatar Raptor. Do I? I mean, I, you know what? I'm going to try and I'm going to go for this. He's probably not going to kill me. Um, no, never mind. He killed me because it didn't come up. There you go. That's good, actually, because that means his distracting impact, which is like a two turn recharge, um, might not have a chance to hit Indominus Rex. I like how the, um, the immunity sort of came up there from the previous attack when Indominus Rex came in. Okay, so here we go. Oh, we're going to survive. Yeah, we... Oh, well, of course, he was invisible. So that was a giveaway. <laughs> and here you go. Ready? Unless you can kill Indominus Rex, you're dead, son. Oh, no, critical. Don't do it. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Indominus Rex. Jesus. He's killing everything. Oh, there you go. Okay. And further up there. Oh, a free... Uh, 50 minutes. It's all right. I may as well speed it up and let's see what we get, shall we? Okay. Right. Let's see what we get. Legendary? Oh, sorry. Epic. I don't think you can ever get legendary. It's like 1% chance. I don't think you can. Let's do another. Oh, look at that. We've went like 50 places up now. So we're getting somewhere. Indominus Rex is working. Here we go. Another oh, we got him again. I've just got to. 
I've just got to put it in because it's so OP. Oh, against Ankylosaurus. Hmm. Right, if I go for Cloak. Right. He's Yeah, he's going to go for Vulnerable Strike. Doesn't. I was a crit as well and it didn't hit. Now, he may go for Instant Invincibility here. And if he does... Ah, damn it. I was hoping. I was hoping he wasn't going to go for it. But there it is. Uh, okay. Okay. And Kylosaurus stood up to the tactic. So, you know what that means? We're, uh, we're, we're gonna switch a T-Rex. <laughs> you might go for long protection. Oh, okay. Regular hit, that's fine. So, T-Rex. Now, you could have been level 16 T-Rex, but because we harvested your DNA, you got level 17 Indominus. So, it could be worse. Okay, long protection, but that's gone. Bam! Now, if Ankylosaurus does indeed go for his instant invincibility here, he'll still die. He does it, and... Oh, yeah, there you go! T-Rex gets the kill. Awesome. Oh, and a crit, because, you know... Get the crits when you don't need them! Yeah! <laughs> okay, what comes in? Oh, yeah, we're dead. Mon Monostegatops. Can't remember what it's got. I think it has distracting impact. Um, I think it's got some sort of charge, but... For the sake of argument, should I s you know what? We're going to go for Indominus Rex because, you know, why not? <laughs> we'll go for the cloak um, and let's see what happens. Even if it does hit me with, like, distracting impact uh, to lower our attack. Oh, stunning him. Well, if it hits us, oh, which it did. Um, yeah, we, we don't get stunned, so that's good. Okay, come on. Survive one more hit or miss. There it is. Distracting strike. Strike, that's it. Oh, he hit us every time, but it's dead. Oh, God, that was close. Okay, it might have to be up to Pyroraptor here. Pyroraptor might... Oh, oh, yeah, Stiggy Morlocks killed Indominus Rex. In what universe? This one, apparently, in the Jurassic World universe. Okay, uh, Pyroraptor. I don't think Pyroraptor is quicker. So, you know what? Because Stiggy Moloch has a chance to switch out, um, I'm going to go for this. He also has, like, a, some sort of stunning strike. Oh, there it is. There's the switch out. No, I thought that would be the case. Whoa, Gorgasuchus. Okay. Now it's risky. So I think we're definitely quicker than Gorgasuchus. So I'm going to go for stun. I should have leveled up Oranosaurus. <laughs> oh, stun him. Yes! Now, he may switch here. If he does switch, at least we're going to switch into Power Raptor and do some damage. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, oh, oh, there you go. Game glitching around. And here comes Pyraptor. Uh, Pyraptor's not as strong, but as long as we can survive and like a, stun, a minor stun and not get stunned, that's it. I think we've won. I think we've done it. Yeah, there we go. Three victories in a row. I'm impressed. Mainly due to Indominus Rex. If there's like a really tough dinosaur, Seems to work all right. Okay, so we'll do one more, and that should fill up our incubators, even though apparently uh, not... Oh, sorry, yeah. We, we got one, didn't we? So let's do another battle of rank 125. Let's see if we can get the top 100. Okay, what's it? Indominus Rex, please? Oh, no! The first time! I'm gonna lose! <laughs> but we do have a level... Oh, God. Okay, well, this is, this is all right. Usually, if somebody has a raptor, they do go for the pounce. I do have armor, so, yeah, we do survive. Now they'll switch out here. I could kill him. And you know what? Just in case he doesn't switch out, I'm going to go for it. But it, more than likely, yeah, they usually switch out. Uh, so we're going to go for that. I don't think we're quicker than Sekadonosaurus. Um, I would have liked to... I should have used my shield. I should have used my shield. So I would only have taken like 361 damage there. But... Sometimes you can't predict that, like, you've just got to play it safe. And, uh, unfortunately, it didn't work for me there. Oh, God! I think we're dead. Yeah, there it is. But, um, we do have a Power Raptor, right? Yeah, we do have a Power Raptor. Um, ooh. Ooh. Now, I'm going to go for Stegoceratops. Because I know that, I, I know for a fact that he's going to go for uh, Velociraptor straight away. He's going to switch into, into Velociraptor, I'm assuming. And if he goes for Pounce, it's gonna that would kill Utahraptor. It would kill Pyroraptor. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't. <laughs> I knew the fuck was worst coming. I think we've lost this one. We've definitely lost this one just because... Um, 
You know what? You know what? We may save it. I may still have a chance to save it. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch in to Power Raptor. Right, there there it is. We're gonna take a hit here. And I'm gonna go for pounds, kill it. Then Velociraptor's gonna come in. His Velociraptor is gonna go for the pounds. I'm hoping he could probably kill me in a normal attack. And if he does, that's gonna really annoy me. Please go for pounds. Yes! Okay, that's great. We've, we've won. I think we've won. Because then I put in my Utah Raptor. I don't think he can kill me in one hit unless he gets a crit. Uh, he might switch out even here. Um, don't switch. Don't switch. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, only level 11? Oh, it's a walk of the heart. Just like Jim Kirkland said, one of the Utah Raptors would have laid it down on him. <laughs> Oh, oh, now you switch back to Velociraptor. Well, too bad. It's dead. Oh, and I, well, I guess, yeah, got the crit. That'll do. Four victories in a row. Oh, my God. So what rank are we on now? 105. I still don't believe you fight real people, though. I don't think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that all that happens, like Clash of Clans, is you have your team, and then... Uh, the bot will take over. Otherwise, like, matches would be very, like, disconnecty and laggy and all this jazz. And honestly, if I've got a good internet connection, I never lag or have a problem. So, and, it, you know, it could be their problem. It could be somebody, it could be on their end. Maybe they're, maybe they're going on a bus or they go under a tunnel or something like that. So, that, that to me tells me that it's not live. I mean, Dominus! <laughs> Oh, no! That's the thing I really wanted! That's the thing that's faster than, like, everything in the game. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. You go for that. You boost your attack. I'll boost my evasiveness. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. I go for minimize. Okay. Now, it depends who hits each other. We could kill each other. He's level 20. Please don't. He missed! Yes! And I think we've got him. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, oh, that was tough. Oh, okay. Oranus, little poor Oranosaurus. That's fine. Oh, God, it's level 22 as well. Okay. Ooh, right. Well, I'll go for that. Um, I can't. He's going to go for greater stun. Oh, let's kill him. Because I don't think he. Oh, impact and run. Ooh, interesting. So we're. Oh, 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 yeah. He's going to kill us with the counter attack. But. We did a lot of damage. Okay, okay. Now, what could we take on with this guy? Um, you know what? I think Stegoceratops could do it. And the good thing with Stegoceratops is it takes like a while to charge into your good moves. So we'll do the slowing impact. Make sure we do kill him, I think. Yeah, he's dead. And now we've got greater stun, stunning strike, um, and then like minor strike. But we can rattle through those and hopefully get lucky with the stuns. Although Sinceratops is here... I don't know, he's definitely quicker, but he has to start with, like, low stunning strike, which has a 5% chance, doesn't get it. We got a 75% chance. Don't get it! Oh, okay. Ooh, right. Um, oh, yeah, now he's going for his stunning impact. I think it's 30% chance. Of course. Of course he gets it, of course. Um, I'd be an idiot not to believe he'd get it, and then he's going to go for instant charge. Oh, no, goes for low stun because he knows he can kill me. He's saving that one. Okay. Right. Now, I don't know if T-Rex has the bulk to take on Sinceratops, especially once it's gone a roll. So, he's probably going to go for the instant strike, instant charge, yeah. So, we'll tank that damage. Of course, he gets the crit. We don't get... He gets a stun. He gets the crit. We don't get any stun. But we did survive the first one. So, I guess it's sort of working out. Please don't get a stun again. Come on. Oh, for real? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so haxy sometimes. It's so bad. If he's 5% chance and he gets it. Okay, right. So I'm going to decelerate him here. Um, then I'm going to switch into T-Rex. And I'm going to put him into... He could go for the instant charge anyway. Um, and he does go for it. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. It's not working. I think we're going to lose this one. Because we have to end turn. And then it's his turn again. He's going to go for Stunning Strike. But then the uh, impact... 
<laughs> and just like that, we got one stroke of luck. He got like five. Oh, just like sometimes it's so annoying because they're not real people. And if they win, they don't go up points. So for it's like when we used to fight a bot in Jurassic Park builder, um, even if it was two dinosaurs of the same level, um, whatever you faced was nerfed. So it had like less health, it had less attack. Uh, oh, of course he gets a 5%. Of course he gets the 5% stun. Is he gonna get the 30%? Of course he gets the 30%. Yes. Oh, and is he gonna get the, just, yes. He's gonna kill me, Arkham. Oh, just great, good, good, that was fantastic. That was like best. And the 70% chance, do I get it? Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I have to say that because it felt like I was I just got that with luck. We're gonna switch out. Uh, that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's to go for low stun. Don't get 5%. You get- I was gonna say, you get that 5%. <laughs> oh, no! I didn't know this was coming. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Oh, when Sinceratops gets going, it's really good. But, um, man. I think- yeah, we've- okay, we, we killed Gorgasuchi, so that's good. Even though I'm complaining, we are 2-0 up. <laughs> yeah. And I may as well just uh, finish off Pyraptor here. Get the... Uh, go through the armor. Do 1,361. And if we do have our own Stegoceratops, do we? No, we don't. But we do have Utahraptor. And unless he switches, that means that we've definitely won. So, after all my complaining, <laughs> we do win. But that's because they were like low levels. If those were level like 20s and 20, 21, 22, then we would have lost that for sure. Ooh, you know what? I, you know what? I'm going to speed that up. I'm going to speed that one up. We're going to do one battle. I'm going to see if I can get in the top 100. So, what do we get from this? So, we get coin, of course. We get dots. Uh, Irritated Gen 2. Okay. Uh, 40 ever. And what is the epic? Damn it, I was hoping it was T-Rex. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Oh god, I'm sweating. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. TMI, James. TMI.